Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to create an HDR file using Adobe Photoshop. We are going to use a plugin for Adobe Photoshop which is called Dynamic Photo HDR. Okay, so yeah, you can download this plugin, you can search it up on Google, or if you're finding it difficult, I will be posting a link in um, the description. Okay, so you open up Dynamic Photo HDR, and before we begin, I would like to tell you that always use high resolution photos, okay? Don't just use normal pictures. Use photos with dimensions, high dimensions, you know? Use uh, high resolution photos because those are the best for HDR images. So you simply drag in the file here. Now it'll ask you for eye catching, auto adaptive, whatever you want. I'm gonna go for eye catching and I'm gonna click OK. Okay. So this is how it is. You can see it. This is the original photo. This is the HDR simulator. Okay. Now we're gonna click OK. So now there's a question that this thing is asking us. How to process a single image? If you want to go for full HDR process, you should be having a you know, you should be having an RAW file. But if you have a pseudo HDR, if you want to go for pseudo HDR, you will be having I mean you should have JPG file. Since I'm using JPG file, I'm going to go for pseudo HDR and I'm going to click OK. OK, so we've done it. I'm going to click OK. It comes out pretty dramatic. It comes out, you know, it comes out really, really colorful. So you can adjust that. There's the settings here. I'm sorry for the microphone. The microphone's a bit annoying. I, I don't know. You can adjust the color saturation. You can adjust all that with it colors. You know, don't make it too high. Well, you can adjust it to your liking. Surface smoothness. You can increase all this. Once you've done it, once you get the desired effect, you can go for process and edit. Like you can see there. Click on that. And um, yeah, it opens up. Now you want to click File, Save as um, JPG. Okay, or you can actually make it into a PSD for Adobe Photoshop. But I'm going to go for JPG. Okay, rename the file and click Save. You can also adjust the quality here. And you can turn this wheel and adjust the quality. So obviously if you have high quality, the image size will also be pretty high. Okay, so I'm going to go for 85 and click Save. Done. Okay, now close this things. You don't need this anymore. And uh, this is the original file. And this is the HDR file. Now you might be thinking that there's not much difference. Well, it's because I'm taking a video of this. If you try it out by yourself, you'll find out the difference. There is a huge difference between these two images. Now, the main thing about this tutorial is this plugin, Dynamic Photo HDR. Okay, if you don't have this, well, it's not going to come out. So, I'll be posting a link in the description for you guys to find it out. Okay? So, yeah, that's all about the tutorial. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and all those good things. Um, I guess that's it. Thank you for watching.